Hey weirdos, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you guys are new here. So, as you can tell in my voice, I am sick. I've been on and off sick for a while now, pretty much since I've been back at my old job at the preschool, because you know, germs. But I'm trying to champ through this because I've really been wanting to get this video up. I finally received my order a few days ago, so I've been really anxious to play with this palette and let you guys know that today I will be reviewing and doing a first impressions of a new indie brand. They're not like, you know, like today years old, but they are a up and coming, recent, small, indie brand business, you know. <laughs> Sorry I'm a little off, I literally have a fever, but I am trying. So the name of this brand is Lunar Skies Cosmetics and I found out about them because I was scrolling through Twitter like I do once in a while. Mm -hmm. I kept seeing other creators on Twitter sharing and retweeting this palette and some of them even had ordered it and gotten it and were swatching it and the swatches were beautiful, the packaging was really pretty and I just liked how it was Heartbreaker and like Valentine's Day is coming up and the color scheme is so beautiful and it looks so vibrant. I can't even talk. Mm -hmm. The color scheme was so vibrant I was like I really really want to try this and I was expecting it to be at least like 30 35 bucks because it looks like good quality and usually that's how much a eyeshadow palette is but when I go on their website their heartbreaker palette is only $15 which is incredible because you get nine shades and I there's seven mattes and two glitzy toppers which I think sounds really really pretty and I'm totally down for that but it is the ultimate Galentine's Day palette so I'm super excited I'm going to stop talking because I tend to do that a lot and I am just going to get into this and open this package that I finally got in the mail because I am super excited to be back uploading and this year in 2020 as much as I still love you know drugstore brands that are popular and bigger brands I really want to start focusing more and more on small indie brands and supporting them and see what's out there because they are so good and they work so hard to get where they are and to try and get started. So you guys should totally go follow Lunar Skies Cosmetics on Instagram and on Twitter and just go check out their website because their prices are really affordable. This is not sponsored or anything. I'm just saying this because I genuinely think that they're very, very affordable. And I think when things are affordable, it's more realistic to take a risk and buy something and try it out because it's affordable. But Anyways, we're going to see how I like this palette and we're going to open this baby right on up. So of course, this is what the box looks like and it's nothing crazy, which is fine with me because we don't need, <coughs> I'm dying, <coughs> we don't need anything super fancy and you know, a big old waist. So we're going to get right into it. And the box is like pretty small, which I like because I don't need a huge box for one palette. I'm going to cut the box open on the opposite side, but I don't want you guys to see because it has my address. Like I say all the time when I unbox things because I'm annoying. <laughs> hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up. I am the one, the one your son. <laughs> when will I grow up? I don't know. You got that yummy yum. That yummy yum yum. Yummy yum yum yummy. Okay. Anyways. Okay, so we're gonna- oh my god, no, I'm gonna ruin it. <laughs> Me and, like, beauty gurus are so graceful, they're like, oh, and I'm just like, yeah, 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 Am I opening it the wrong way? Probably. Sounds like something I would do. <laughs> Alright, listen, I'm sick and I'm getting back in the groove of filming, so can we cut me some slack? I really think I'm opening it wrong. Oh my gosh! Okay, so this cute bubble wrap that is orange, which is really cool because, you know, it's like, you know, not- clear. It's cute. It's colorful. Okay. So we have this cute little box right here. I'm going to open it up. Oh my gosh. Okay. Cute. I love when brands do this. I know it's corny and like everyone gets one. I'm not special. Like, okay. Okay. Susan and Karen. I know I'm not special, but let me feel like it for one day. It says, thank you for supporting Lunar Skies Cosmetics. And that has other contacts. And it says 20% off. Use this coupon and receive 20% off your next purchase. So that is super, super cute. I love when brands do that. And it's so cool. I was not expecting to get a coupon just from making one purchase and yada yada like that's nice that they just give a coupon like what other makeup company just gives you a coupon so that was super sweet and then we have this little card it says lunar skies cosmetics and um first of all these three women are absolutely gorgeous and their makeup is absolutely stunning 
and it's just a thank you and their contacts as well and they look absolutely beautiful so I'm going to keep that I'm corny and I keep stuff like that I don't know I'm weird leave me alone ay, ay, ay. oh my gosh so then we have the heartbreaker palette and she is beautiful we love her yes we do okay bye box <laughs> this oh my god it's so cute it's so crazy to see something like it literally okay Obviously, like, it wasn't trending, but, like, okay, I only follow, like, 20-something people on Twitter. I barely use Twitter. I really don't use it a lot because, I don't know, it's just not... I feel like it always ends up being, like, a negative place, but now I've been trying to use it to, like, retweet, you know, inspirational quotes and, like, look at makeup looks and, like, see what brands are doing. So, I'm trying, all right? I hate Twitter, but I'm trying, okay? But to me, since I only follow, like, less than 30 people... To me, it was, like, trending, because every time I was scrolling, people were retweeting and, like, like posting pictures of, like, their order and their swatches. And I was like, I need that. I need that in my life. I need those colors on my eyeballs now. <laughs> so this is what the Heartbreaker palette looks like. Actually, I actually want to look at it real quick. Oh, my gosh. I love how it looks like a neon sign. Um, I love their fonts. I love how everything looks and has ingredients on the back, which is super helpful and super awesome because, first of all, they're legally supposed to do that, but some, some brands are a little sketchy. I don't know. And it has the cruelty-free, recyclable, and it should last for 24 months. So this is what it looks like. It has the same cover as its little slot thing, which is really cute. And you open it up, and voila! This is what you get. That is so pretty. And the little protector thing just fell off, but that's okay because I literally just throw them out. But it's cool that it came with one. This mirror is super nice. Um, I can literally see past my soul, past all of my, you know, regrets and my aging and the bags under my eyes from crying myself to sleep and sneezing. <laughs> Um, no, it's really cool that it comes with a cute little mirror. You guys are literally, look at this, watch, watch. <laughs> Wait, you guys are literally, <laughs> you guys are literally, hi weirdos, welcome back to my channel. You are literally standing. I don't have a tripod in Connecticut because I'm visiting. Where is it? Where is it? You guys are literally on a bottle of ranch. That's the camera. <laughs> and you guys are on a bottle of ranch. Can someone please take a picture of this? <laughs> and can it be on my grave? <laughs> I'm literally crying. Oh, I haven't laughed in a minute. Okay. I'm so sorry. That was a distraction. This is why... I don't know. Okay. So anyways, it's a cute little palette. I want to compare it to like ColourPop. I feel like it's a little bigger than ColourPop palettes, which is really nice, but you do have nine shadows and it said seven mattes and two glitter toppers. And these are the colors and they're so pretty. I'm super excited for this heart color. It's like a lavender color. So, um, and like I was trying to say, the mirror is really good and I like how the mirror isn't the whole thing. I like how it has this border. I don't know why, but I just really like that. And I like how it's compact and I feel like it'd be really good for traveling and it's also very thin so for storing it in your beauty room or your bathroom or just your small bedroom it's so simple it's not a big crazy thing and I love that it's simple straight to the point heartbreaker and then it's Valentine's Day colors so simple straight to the point and the color scheme is amazing and the theme is super on point I'm going to swatch these colors for you guys <clears throat> sorry so I'm going to go over the names and then I'll swatch them really quickly and then of course I will get into doing my eyes on camera. I was thinking of trying one eye with primer and one eye with no primer so we'll see how that goes so um, we'll see what I do. We'll see because I don't know ever. The names are Bite Me Galentine, Heartbreaker Sucker, Kiss and Tell. I think it's really cute how the names go super well with the theme and the colors and also they kind of are like their own little phrases in a sense. I don't know, I just, and the packaging doesn't feel super cheap, like it feels solid, it feels sturdy, it feels like something like you'd get a little Morphe palette or a little Colourpop palette and I really love that. Into Bite and just have that on my finger. Like I said, mind you, I am pretty pale so we will see, we will see. That's really, really pretty, actually, and I like how soft it is because I feel like I would love to mix that into my crease and I just put a little bit more on. Now I'm going to go into the color Me, which is this hot pink color. 
and I can tell these two are meant to be pastel so me being super pale on my arm skin it's not gonna look the same but with like primer or even probably without primer on your lids it's gonna pop differently with your eyes and and all of that so you gotta consider that as well but now I'm going into this me color which is a hot pink shade that is really pretty and okay 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 look at her she is pretty that is so so pretty I feel like the lighting in this room is not helping I'm sorry for anyone that is new here I live in Europe with my husband he's state well we're stationed there and um, I have like a film room there with a big nice window with natural lighting and I also have a ring light and tripod and all that. I'm visiting Connecticut because he's deployed and um, I don't have a ring light or a tripod or anything. There's orange walls so I literally put wrapping paper inside out and I taped it to the wall and I'm trying my best while I am not in my zone. So please be patient with my lighting because it's crappy so I'm sorry. <laughs> I am going to go into this beautiful deep color Galantine. I like how the first row is all pinks but completely different shades because a lot of the times with palettes that do, oops, wrong one, um, a lot of times when palettes do like a color scheme of the same color but different shades, sometimes they're a little too similar. Here you have a pastel, a hot pink, and then a deeper toned pink which I think I'm really, really going to love. So we're going to go right in here. Oh my goodness, that is so stunning. I'm just gonna blend that on my arm um, that is really 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 pretty and I like how pigmented it is so now I'm going to go into this gorgeous pastel like lavender type shade and it's called heart sorry it's a little weird I'm double jointed and I'm also just awkward I'm gonna go back into it again this is how it looks with one swatch it's really pretty like I said I'm pale that is so pretty and I really think I might probably really want to use that. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going into Breaker, which I love that Breaker is this really, really like hot red color. So I'm going to go into that. I also really like the sizes of the pans and I like that they're squares because it is, I think a lot of brands are doing circles now, which is really cool. Oh my God, this red. Oh my God. <laughs> Can you tell I have a sore throat? Oh my God, that is so gorgeous. And it feels like not as dry as mattes usually do it feels like not creamy but like just not as drying as some chalky like mattes can feel so now i'm going into the color sucker which is this beautiful rich purple color oh my god i can already tell oh my gosh sorry this is awkward <laughs> me trying my best for 20 minutes straight if this is even 20 minutes so this is absolutely gorgeous too you can tell it pigmented and it has more of a purpley, well it is more purple undertone, but it's still like a neon kind of color. And I love how the the theme and logo of this palette is like a neon sign and you open it and then you feel like you have some neon colors that literally resemble and are the same as like the packaging. But then you also look deeper and you have these more pastel wearable colors, you know, for every day. I think that's really cool. And now we have this um, sparkly topper thing, which is in the shade Kiss, and it's this sparkly gold color, so I'm super excited for that. That looks gorgeous. I am going to use the back of my hand because I'm running out of space. That is so pretty. Oh my goodness. That is absolutely gorgeous. I love that. And now this is the shade And. I feel like it is so smart to put an orange in with reds, purples, and pinks because it's such a pretty crease color to mix in and mix with those colors and uh, or like a sunset look so that's really small oh my god okay 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 oh my freaking goodness that is absolutely gorgeous what the heck? it swatched so well in that orange color I like don't usually wear orange but I feel like I would love to wear that in the summer a lot and this last one is so so pretty so I'm excited. This is called Tell, and it's a sparkly topper as well, and it is a pink sparkly shade. So I am very, very excited for that. Oh my gosh, I feel like that's going to look so pretty on the lids. Oh my goodness. So these are the swatches. 
Okay, so since I just swatched this really beautiful palette and the swatches were really pretty, I feel like they felt very smooth. I feel like they're going to be blendable. I feel like they're going to be really pigmented. And I hope that that's the case because we are going to be testing this palette out on my lids now. I'm going to do my first eye with primer and my second eye without primer. So I'm just going, you know... I do my hair toss. So now I'm going to zoom you guys in and I'm going to use my Milani eyeshadow primer and we are going to get started. <laughs> All right, weirdos, so this is my final look from the Heartbreaker palette by Lunar Skies Cosmetics. Sorry, my throat hurts so much. So I'm going to give a quick little final thoughts on this palette, and then that's going to be it. So I tried these eyeshadows with one eye with primer and then this eye without primer because I thought that, you know, usually there's a pretty good difference between the two, and sometimes they're not, sometimes shadows are the same. But honestly, lately I've kind of just been using eyeshadows, or at least most eyeshadows that I have, without primer, and I've been liking it even more, and I feel like it shows up even better. So, anyways, getting into this review. 
first of all, they were super blendable, so let me say that. I have good things to say about these shadows. I'm just trying to be very honest about everything because I like being honest with you guys. I really, really, really was super impressed with the side that I used without primer, and I've been feeling like that with a lot of eyeshadow brands, or eyeshadow brands, a lot of eyeshadows from different brands lately. I didn't have any trouble blending. Everything blended really well. It was just trying to add colors and make sure that it stayed there after I added another color and blended. But besides that, like, I got it to stay and it wasn't like, oh my gosh, I'm struggling. It was just like, okay, let me figure this out and work with it because all eyeshadow formulas are different. So, like I said, it's not a bad thing. You just got to figure out brands formulas and I would much rather use this without a primer that's just me and honestly surprisingly I've learned that a lot of other people feel the same way and I've had people that used to tell me this all the time I should try it so I'm really glad that I've been trying it even ColourPop like ColourPop I've tried with and without primer and to be honest I love much better without primer so that's just a personal preference um, so it's not a big deal and I'm not saying with primer it's terrible I'm just saying that I feel like it's more vibrant without primer I'm not good at wording things I'm trying my best but either way it looks beautiful and they look pretty much the same um, everything blended really well and everything was very vibrant the glitter toppers or sparkly toppers are definitely toppers but they're still really really pretty and even though they're not like crazy metallic shimmers they're giving you that little gentle soft romantic look of glistening that you're gonna want and um, you could definitely use them with a more natural look I was originally going to go with a pastel look if you couldn't tell by me starting to do my eyes and then I was like you know what I want to make it more deeper and vibrant and just have some fun with it I almost never know what I'm doing when I go in to do an eyeshadow look with a new palette I just kind of like do what I'm feeling and I play music I jam out and I have fun so I ended up changing my original idea but I'm really happy with this look and I did add some gems the gems that I used, you can probably find at Walmart. I got them at AC Moore because, sadly, AC Moore is closing, which is really sad because, like, mm, sorry, Michaels, but I love AC Moore, like, the best. <laughs> so, um, I got these because everything is, like, on sale. So, I added some gems, and the mascara I used is the Mary Kay mascara, which is, like, 10 bucks. I couldn't find my other mascaras. Usually, I also use um, the Volume Wet n Wild and the voluptuous lash paradise one from l'oreal so i usually use like one of those or both of them together i couldn't find them i don't know why so i use my mary Kay one which i love just as much and for lipstick i use virgin my morphe because paige corin has been raving about it for so long and i've been wanting to try it for so long and they finally extended the morphe section at the ulta near like kind of near where i am so when i was in there oh like what a week ago or something um I grabbed it because I was like you know what like Paige always raves about this and I love her and I trust her recommendations so I grabbed it and I did wear it during one of my shifts and I literally wore it for eight and a half hours from when I got ready until when I got home from work and all day I did not feel like I was wearing lipstick it's full coverage within like one or two swipes and it doesn't get super crumbly and heavy throughout the day even if you're eating or drinking so highly recommend that lipstick because all day I did not feel like I was wearing lipstick Stick and I came home and it looked pretty much the same. Of course my lips get a little bit chap, it's winter and I'm at work and it's dry air, but you know. And then I just added the Fenty Beauty lip gloss on top of it because it's a Valentine's Day, Galentine's Day look. I just wanted it to look more glossy and you know, just add some like, you know, shimmer to it. So basically to sum it up because I babble a lot, I want to say that my final thoughts on this palette is that I absolutely love this palette. I really, really love the packaging. I love how there's most mattes because I just love that I do wish that these shimmers were like a metallic like formula but they're purposely just toppers so when I was applying them I had to keep reminding myself in my head like okay Lindsay like don't be disappointed because they're not metallics they're toppers for a reason like they're just that soft glistening romantic look and I actually really like that and not everything has to be super metallic and crazy but I really enjoyed this palette. Like I said, I love how it's mostly mattes. I love how you have more vibrant neon -y looks, especially because it's like a neon sign on the package. But I also love how you have these everyday colors that are super soft and pastel and then two shimmers that you can wear on an everyday basis. I would love to see how these last all day, but I'm sick and I am tired, so I need to... Wash, take some pictures, wash my face, and go to bed. But those are my final thoughts. I am super happy with this Valentine's Day look. I really wanted to 
to do a Valentine's Day look before Valentine's Day, duh. And I've been really wanting to play around with Lunar Skies cosmetics because they have been popping off on Twitter and I'm like, oh my gosh, their prices and their packaging and they're friendly and they're kind. I'm totally down with that. So congratulations to Lunar Skies Cosmetics for selling out of the Heartbreaker palette, which I think it will be back soon. If not, check out their Twitter or website. But congratulations to them for being an up and coming independent indie brand. Um, it is so exciting to see people on the come up and to support other people and just spread kindness. So congratulations and I can't wait to try more and more of your products. And they do mystery boxes. I think they said they do them like a couple times a year or something. So next time I definitely want to get my hands on that and I would love to try more of their products. So thank you weirdos so 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 much for watching. I hope you guys love this Valentine's Day look using a new brand as well. And yeah so I can't wait to use this palette again. I'm going to go and stop rambling. I love you weirdos so, so, so much. Thank you for loving me and supporting me in literally anything that I do. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.